Hey, what's going on, man? It is Jason Rogers, your coach, creator of Peak and founder of PeakUnderPressure.com. And in this video, I want to share with you the four secrets that give Harvey Specter that undeniable confidence wherever he goes. Obviously, as you know, Harvey Specter is the main character in Suits, the TV drama, the legal show. And in the show, as again, I'm sure you know because you're here, you can just feel his conviction, his certainty, his undeniable confidence wherever he goes, man. And in this video, I'm going to share with you those four things, those four underlying principles that give Harvey Specter that level of confidence so that you can steal it from him and incorporate these confidence secrets into your life as well. So without further ado, let's do it, man. The four secrets to Harvey Specter level confidence. Harvey Specter's first secret for having that immense self-confidence is his higher standards. The standards that he holds not only himself to, but also everyone he interacts with. What you're about to see right here is a scene where Harvey Specter is speaking with a client of his, Logan Sanders. And what you're going to see is Harvey explicitly states that he holds people to a higher standard. He holds himself to a higher standard. And if you've ever watched a Tony Robbins or a Brendan Burchard or these other personal development teachers and coaches, what they'll constantly share is that the key to raising your own self-esteem and your own confidence is holding yourself to that higher standard. So watch here how Harvey Specter displays his higher standards. I assume the next time I call you directly, you'll pick up the phone. Logan. Let me give you the ABCs of me. I don't take meetings. I set them. And my respect isn't demanded. It's earned. That's only two things. What's C? C is for people who show me they know A and B. Right there you see it. Harvey Specter is not going to take anything from anyone because he's already holding himself to such a high standard that no one he meets elevates him beyond a comfort level that he has already expected out of himself. See, most people, when they go through their days, they hold themselves to lower standards. They eat food that doesn't nourish them. They do things they know they shouldn't. They concede from what they know they should do. And this eats at them. But Harvey Specter doesn't live that way. He holds himself to the highest standards. And this fuels his self-confidence. That is Harvey Specter's first secret to having extremely high confidence. Harvey Specter's second secret to that undeniable self-confidence is his willingness to speak his mind. You see, most of us, we hide our thoughts inside. We keep our emotions to ourselves, and this eats at us because we have things that we want to share, but we don't. Harvey Specter is obviously not this type of person, as you're about to see right here. You know what? I have had it up to here with you blaming me for every hard choice that comes with this job. Harvey, shut up! Is your life better or worse than before I hired you? It's both. Well, maybe you should focus on the better, because the next time I have the option to cross a line to save you, I'll send you packing and not think twice. Now get your shit together. Clearly, you see here, Harvey Specter has no problem speaking his mind, and this is a trait of confident people, because you see, what so many of us do is we keep our emotions, our feelings, our thoughts repressed. We don't express them, and this eats at us, right? When we know we should speak up, but we don't, what feeling do we get afterwards? We feel insignificant. We just don't feel good, right? We feel like we, we didn't stand for what we believed in. Harvey Specter never does this. He always speaks his mind. He always shares what he believes. And while some will say that he's an asshole, or he's rude, or he's over the line, you cannot deny the level of self-confidence that he has. Likewise, you also see here that Harvey Specter is relying on secret number one that we talked about. He's holding Mike Ross to a higher standard, right? Because Mike Ross, if you know the show, is talking about how he's not sure if he wants to be a lawyer. He has one foot in, one foot out, and Harvey Specter is saying, no, you're either in or you're out. He doesn't waft. He holds people to a higher standard. He holds himself to a higher standard, and he expresses what he's thinking. That is Harvey Specter's second secret to having amazing levels of confidence. Moving along now, Harvey Specter's third secret to that undeniable self-confidence is his amazing 
posture, and body language. You see, Dr. Cuddy of Harvard has actually found that when you hold yourself with great posture, your chemical hormones in the testosterone levels in your body, especially for men, increase and this fuels self-confidence. Watch and pay special attention to how firm and upright Harvey Specter's body language is. And if you've watched Suits all the way through, you know that that's always how he holds himself. This fuels that undeniable self-confidence. So check it out, and we'll talk about it a little bit more in a second. Because you're supposed to be the best. I am the best, and I didn't get that way letting someone else call the shots. So you're either going to let me do that, or you're going to get yourself another lawyer. Here's what I need you to do. You can tell me what you need me to do in a minute. First, we're going to talk about what happened back there. What happened is I laid down the law. She accepted. I'm the man. Yep. I just love that uncompromising, unapologetic swagger. Yep, I'm the man. But really, a lot of this stems from the body language. Whenever you enter a room or you're in a business negotiation deal or you're on a date, hold the shoulders back, keep the head up, and just hold yourself like you're being pulled from a string from the top of the room. That's the best advice I can give you. And by simply holding that posture, you're going to feel more confident, man. And that is what we want for you. Before I share with you this fourth secret now, my man, for building that Harvey Specter-like confidence, what I want you to do is actually just watch this scene and see if you can figure out for yourself what that fourth secret is. Let's roll the tape and then we'll discuss it in a minute. We have three choices here. We move forward with the suit, lose, lose. We can give you your money back plus the 500,000 or you and I can play poker for it. And I'm not giving you your money back. There you go, that's the fourth clip we're gonna break down here. But before I share with you the fourth secret I've found for building that Harvey Specter-like confidence, I'm curious what you think it is. And if you have a different opinion than what I share, please let me know in the comments below what you would have had is that fourth secret or another secret for having that Harvey Specter-like confidence. That being said, what I found with deeply analyzing Harvey Specter is what makes him so confident throughout the show of Suits is his understanding of people and likewise the homework that he does before he enters a meeting or a negotiation. You see, Harvey Specter never rolls into a situation unprepared. He always understands the person he's about to negotiate. He knows their fears. He knows their strengths. He knows their weaknesses. He knows what they're after. It was this deep intel that Harvey uncovered before entering this meeting that gave him the confidence to challenge this orange-haired gent to a game of poker. He knew that he could beat him. He knew the man he was playing against. And this is Harvey's secret. This deep knowledge, not only of the person and their character and their traits and their personality and all of that, combined, though, with his business knowledge means he just shows up in situations totally prepared not only to play the business decision in the best way possible, but also, as he often quotes, to play the man. This combination of really understanding people and what moves people, what drives people, what motivates people, what people are afraid of, what people crave, combined with his business acumen means that he's able to roll into a situation feeling totally confident because he knows exactly what chips they have, what chips he has, and consequently, he's able to play the very best hand possible. In your life, aim to know as much as you can about the people you'll be dealing with in your life and also always aim to be the best at what you do. When you take care of both of those aspects, you should feel as confident as humanly possible, just like Harvey Specter. There it is, man. Those are the four secrets for Harvey Specter-like confidence. Share your comments below. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And my last invitation for you, my man, if you're looking for more confidence, if you're looking to improve your dating life and your social skills, as well as your confidence, dude, you should definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. That's what I'm all about. That's my focus in life, delivering that kind of content for guys just like you, man. So subscribe, and we'll be talking soon, man. Until next time, take care. Talk soon. Bye-bye.